<laughs> Hello. I've had a morning in the kitchen. I've uh, I've got a coffee cake in the oven, and uh, and behind me, just here in this pan, uh, is is a Christmas chutney. It's rich and it's strong and it's very garlicky and tomatoey and to add a hint of Christmas to it oh, I've just popped in a bit of brandy which I'm cooking off now so that there's no alcohol in it but there is all the flavour. I don't have a recipe for it because uh, like so much of my food uh, I made the recipe up so there's onions and cucumber, green beans, apples, sultanas, lots and lots of tomatoes uh, a large amount of vinegar, sugar, salt, pepper, herbs and, uh, and that touch of brandy and they've been cooking, that's been cooking uh, for uh, a good good hour now. Uh, I brought it up to the boil uh, and boiled it rapidly for about 15 minutes and then I've turned the heat right down and I'm just evaporating the liquid away uh, to intensify all those flavours and it should be, it should be very nice. So my two days off that I had planned turns out to be five. That's okay. I'm uh, I'm feeling quite refreshed and um, I'm quite excited about the new season. Uh, so I've finished my 50 days of harvesting project, but the um, the harvesting certainly hasn't finished. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm still chopping apples and uh, and bringing in. Uh, the Greek Gigantes beans and uh, all sorts of other food uh, but uh, that particular project is over and done with. And because I'm not very good at sitting around doing absolutely nothing uh, I have been out in the garden getting on with a few jobs. And there we go a, a second level of wood put on here and then all topped up with wood chippings. So, you know, that was quick to say, and these jobs are never that quick to do. So, uh, yes, yeah, so that took me a little while to uh, to get that bolted together and uh, bring over quite a lot of that wood chipping uh, to fill it up. And they're still all right. Looking down the vegetable garden, the view has changed quite a lot uh, because just here, going across there, uh, was another wigwam of the Greek Gigantes beans which I've taken down and uh, harvested all of those and in their place I've popped a bit of uh, compost onto the ground there and planted some of the path nips. Now these are the ones that were literally growing in the path. These beans are certainly uh, certainly ready to harvest. There's quite a lot of dried pods and uh, and very fat pods. So I'll be doing these over the next few days. I've also weeded the leeks. Well that was a bit of a mammoth task actually. There were <laughs> there were gozillions of parsnips at this end uh, and thistles going down at this end. Well thistles were in the middle and then at the far end it was chock-a-block with nasturtiums which looked absolutely beautiful but uh, they've wreaked havoc on the on the leeks that are squashed um, and have hardly grown so I'm now hoping that these ones will pick up and obviously they'll be the last ones to harvest but hopefully before long they'll pick up and look as lovely as the rest of them and I've, I've also continued to harvest uh, raspberries which are, oh they're giving me about a pound every other day or uh, a pound and a half every other day which is great news. Um, I'm still, still getting those put away in the freezer and uh, and, <laughs> and a little while ago. Uh, I thought I heard, I was inside and I thought I heard the gate go but didn't hear anyone knock on the door so didn't think anything more of it and then I thought no I can definitely hear, hear a car, well it was a car driving away and, uh, and it was somebody and I suspect it was Sue from, from across the way there had brought me another basket full of uh, full of apples, uh, cooking apples, uh, to get uh, into the freezer. Uh, I am I am so lucky to know people who are generous enough just to 
uh, just to bring apples, uh, leave them on the doorstep and know that uh, I will be I will be very very grateful for them and that I'll use them. Now it is fairly autumnal here today uh, but that actually doesn't give you any idea of what it's been like uh, for the last few days here because uh, it has been glorious it has been absolutely beautiful uh, yesterday uh, and the day before for most of the day we had oh I'm just fighting my way around uh, we had the, the kitchen doors wide open uh, for nearly the whole day uh, we're floating around in t-shirts and uh, and it has just been well it was just it just felt a bit like summer actually um, Mr. J told me it was a bit of a cool breeze, but uh, I'm working on quite hot at the moment, so, uh, <laughs> so I thought it was absolutely perfect. Uh, now I'm also, I just wanted to show you the renner beans here. In my last vlog, uh, I showed you how long some of these beans have got, but it's not just one that is, <laughs> as it is this long. There are a lot of very long beans and they still haven't formed the uh, the kidney beans inside them yet we've still got that to come uh, so some of them are some of them are are quite fat and it's obvious that they've got beans in them and that they're that they're nearly ready to harvest the ones on the plant now are the ones that i'm leaving uh, for two things one uh, for seeds uh, but also to dry the beans um, to be able to use them later in the year because uh, they'll store in the kitchen in a jar no problem at all once they've been dried out properly so looking back the other way down the uh, vegetable garden uh, I've dealt with the weedy beds uh, I've still got the weedy beds to go on this side uh, but that's just a small area now and it's starting to look well a it's starting to look like an autumn stroke winter garden um, but it's also starting to look fairly tidy, which I'm very pleased about. Over in Big White's enclosure, I've continued to uh, get wooden battens um, up and over the top to create a framework. Uh, we've put an additional upright post in here uh, to allow me to, to get the extra bits of wood. And uh, do you know it's beginning to feel like I'm nearly at the end of that as well uh, it won't be long before I can get the cover over it and uh, we'll be all set up for lockdown Mr J and I have been uh, chopping logs uh, and these ones are to store for well we might use them by the end of the winter but they're still quite wet but down at the end here we've got we've got a few chopped and stored and in the bag there are bits of old pallets uh, which we can use as kindling and in the greenhouse I have cleared oh I've, I've cleared most of it uh, I've just got these last uh, four plants at the end to do but I've cleared all along here and bagged everything up ready to go off to the uh, to the civic amenities or the the tip <laughs> and off to our homestead because all of this uh, has got blight spores on it and I really don't want it hanging around. So it seems that having a few days off uh, means nothing more than uh, carrying on and uh, working just as hard. And so, wherever you are in the world, whatever you've been up to for the last few days, I hope they've been good for you. And I also hope you can join me again next time.